got the garage closed up, left the green egg out. That's only because I forgot to put it in there. But if you look over here, got the Model T loaded up. It's a bittersweet day getting rid of it. I only got to drive it a handful of times, but I'm kind of a tall guy. My knees hit the dash. It's not really convenient for me. I'd have to do a lot of modifications just on the seat aspect of it. And also, the main factor of this whole entire thing is, is the, the guy I got it for. Because I wanted to do an original, keep it all original, get a original motor to put back in it. But the guy who I got it from, he really kind of just did a hack job. And he welded that shaft to the input of that transmission, ruining the transmission. So let me see this camera real quick. I'll see if I can get, a, get in here, if you can see it. But so, so there's that shaft goes through those pillow blocks. He's got that sprocket on there and it goes into the bell housing right there, but you can't see it, but it's kind of, let me zoom in. You can see how elongated that is and how it's been rubbing. So it's tearing up that nut and on the inside of that plate, which you can't see because I have everything bolted back together. This plate right here flexes a little bit. You can see in there. He's got it boogered up with some welds and bailing wire. It's just a nightmare. And I can't find a motor and a transmission anywhere near me that's a decent price. So we're just gonna let it go. So it was a quick sale. An old guy come over to the house. He uh, wanted to look at it. I let him look at it. And then he asked us to come over to his. He's got two warehouses just jam packed full of cars, some that are in the process of being restored some that are already just as clean as all get out but so i let the model t go made out i guess you know i got my money that i put into it back out of it so that's why i like that um, and i got something on top of it that i think jonathan's gonna buy from me but it's back there behind us you'll see it here in a little bit we're just driving right now just trying to get off the road and, uh, we're gonna play around with it for a little bit Y'all will probably like it. So there she is, a little 1500 Yanmar, little diesel. You know it's gonna be a good day when you got the old smoke flapper on there. But we're gonna see if this thing will fire up. He said it ran, but he just threw it in, so we just pretty much took it away from him for him, or took it away for him, so. So we got this battery hooked up in here. That's the only way to hook up a battery when you're testing things out. Oil looks good, nice and black. So, what's over here? There's more. That's the fill. This is the transmission here. Transmission and rear lift. We'll check the air filter, I guess, before we try and crank it over. Make sure there ain't a bird in there. I did that once. A plutonium rat. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that thing's clean. brand new. Got a little oh, yeah. toilet paper in there, but... I mean, it could probably get replaced, but... <laughs> Hold on. Let me take a look in there. Oh, yeah. It's doing its job. We're clean up in there. It won't focus. What the heck, but... Throw it on. Run it. Stuck on that wire. Yeah. We can't even get a freaking... <laughs> Airbox cleaner on. All right. can't get this wing nut on first time freaking putting a wing nut on i guess god oh all right i'll give her the honors i don't think the, the lawnmower battery's got enough sauce i got uh we can jump it with i got jumper cables i got some too so it's got a glow plug right there and if you look right here carefully you can read it it says where is it at right there it says glow plug so you just push that in but all right you gonna run yeah <laughs> Came with a full tank of red fuel. Oh yeah, still a little smoky. So 
we got some fresh grease in all the zerks. Got some wind in the tires. And we'll see if this old girl will move. So, all the instructions are a little hard to read. I can't read them, so hopefully Jonathan can. But we'll see. So, we got her running all lubed up. Got some air in the tires, so we'll see if she drives. Oh yeah. Go in. Don't hit the old deck again now. pool right there. Probably should raise that a little bit, but it's all right. Well, Jonathan's a happy camper. Got himself a little Yanmar two-cylinder diesel. Two-cylinder diesel, sorry. But he's out there brush hogging, cutting up some grass. And not bad. I'm about to head back to the house. I'm a little jealous. I kind of wanted to play with that tractor a lot more than I got to, but Well, I've grown attached to looking at that Model T sitting over there, and now I don't have it anymore, so it's kind of a weird sight. I need to clean this up. Boy, I've just been kind of setting things here and there, here and there, so. But some hydraulic oil, some fuel cans. I think I got gas for the mower the other day. Yeah, there she is. Got some tractor fuel. But I took everything, I cleaned my truck out, and I just kind of set it right there, right here. And right there, that's a lot of the center console. God, I had a lot of trash in there. But it's all receipts and light bulbs and usable stuff. But no big deal. But yeah, I took my truck clean because the guy wanted to come buy it. And he just wasted my time 24 seven with that. So I've got two of these watermelons here and one up there. I got the zucchini looking nice. More watermelon growing here more watermelon growing here that's cantaloupe cantaloupe 
And that corn, man, that corn is taking off. But I already see an issue. I got grass real close to the corn. Now, if I get out here on that zero turn and I bust down some corn, I'm going to be upset. Especially up here where the overhang's at. A feller might get a hold of this with the zero turn, so he's got to pay attention with that. But we'll go ahead and get this watered up and keep on growing. So here's everything set up in the dark on that trailer. If you watched the last video, I just replaced all the clearance lights on it. Nice and bright. New tail lights. I gotta get a license plate light. Pick that up tomorrow. Everything looks good. Hazards on real quick. No, where are they at? There we are. Truck hazards. They're both flashing. We'll come around the back here. Nice and bright. Yeah, that's good stuff. Real bright. Camera don't pick it up too good because of the LED, but it's got the ground lit up around me, so that's what we were looking for. There's the truck reverse lights. We'll come around back here. You can see the trailer reverse lights. They're nice and lit up, so that's all we were looking for. We're just some bright lights. It helps for backing everything up at night. Man, them truck lights are bright. Them are all bright. Everything just looks good back here. Real nice and bright, lit up. You can count the leaves on that tree right there. Can't complain with that. There's a little dink fish I caught the other day. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you watch the next one.